Hey everyone and welcome back to my Enjoy Mechatronics YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use Python, which is a popular programming language that has some cool features like AI with our Arduino board, like the Arduino Nano, but you could use it with the Arduino Uno or other microcontrollers like the ESP32. For example, we have a Python library that is called OpenCV. We can use it with MediaPipe, which is an AI model that is used to detect the index or the thumb as well as the other fingers. Here we can calculate the distance between the thumb and the index. Then I can control the brightness of the LED. Now it is zero. And this is just one example. We're gonna cover all of this information. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that helps me a lot. And let's jump right in. So first of all, we are going to install Python which is a really powerful and popular programming language that we're going to use to communicate with our Arduino board. And to do that, we have to go to this link, python.org slash downloads, and we can download the latest version, 3.11. If you are using a Mac OS or Linux, make sure to select the operating system. For me, I have a Windows machine, so I will select a download. And once it's done downloading, we have to install the executable file using right-click, and run it as an administrator, or you could double click on it. Before we can hit install, make sure to check this option, add Python to path, and hit install now. And there you go, it is done successfully. We can close this window. Now if you search for Python, you see that we have the version 3.11. We can write some lines of code, print, like hello Python. If we hit enter, the line will be executed. We have the message hello Python. But if you want a better interface to write the code, we have to install something that is called IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. We've already installed the Arduino IDE, which makes it easier for us to write and manage our projects. The same thing applies for Python. And the name of this IDE is PyCharm. You can select the operating system, Mac OS, Linux, or Windows. We have the professional version, which is paid. On the other hand, we have the community version, that is free, and I think it's fairly enough to write your Python code. I'm gonna hit download to download the executable file, and there you go, it is downloading. Then I'm gonna go to the downloads folder and run this file. We have PyCharm Community Edition. Let's hit next. I'm gonna leave the default settings as it is, and hit next. If you want to get the shortcut on your desktop, you have to select this option and hit next, then install. And there you go, it is completed. To run PyCharm, you can check this option, or we can hit finish, and double click on it from the desktop. On the left side, you see this section that is called projects. Let's create a new project by pressing this button. Then we can give it a name, test, or test project. Down here, we have the Python version, which is 3.11, but you could select a different one. Then we can hit create, and here we go. We have this main.py file. By default, we have the sample code. I'm gonna get rid of it and start from scratch. To make sure that everything is working just fine, I will write print. It's like the serial.print function from the Arduino IDE, like hello Arduino. Then we can run it by pressing this button, or you could go to run and run main to run the main file. And there you go, we have the message hello Arduino. Finally, we want to focus on our main topic, which is controlling our microcontroller, or use the microcontroller with Python. To achieve that, we have to upload a sketch to our microcontroller, so that it can know what to do with the Python code, and we can communicate with it. You have to plug in the USB cable, so that we can select the Arduino board and the port of the USB cable, which is COM3 in my case. Then we have to install a library from the library manager, that is called Fermata. And here it is, by Fermata Developers. I've already installed it. To open up the sketch that we're gonna use, we have to go to File, Examples. You see the Fermata option, and we want to select the standard Fermata sketch. Basically, it's a protocol that is used for communicating with our microcontroller. In this case, it is an Arduino Nano. And a software, which is our Python programming language. Actually, you don't have to care about this code, because we only have to upload it once using the Arduino IDE, by hitting upload, and close the Arduino IDE, we don't need it anymore. Now to communicate with our microcontroller, 
using the Fermata protocol, we have to install a library, or it is called a package, by going to File, Settings, and under the project, which is called Test, we select the first option, that contains the Python interpreter 3.11, and the packages that are used in this project. To add a new package, we have this plus button, and we need to search for PyFermata, and here it is, it is called PyFermata2, I think you guess it, to install it we have to click on this button, once it's done successfully, we can close this window, on top we have to include this library, as I said it is called a package in Python, by using the keyword import, and the name of the library, PyFermata2, then we have to create an Arduino object that represent our Arduino microcontroller, luckily Python is the easiest programming language, you don't have to add the type of the object, we only have to write the name, I'm gonna call it board equals, we have to use our library pyfermata2, then dot, we have this option Arduino to create the Arduino object, it takes in one parameter, and it's the port of the USB cable, in my case it is called COM3, the next thing that we need to add is the pin that we want to control, in this case we are going to control an LED that's connected to one of the digital pins, like the digital pin number 13, to create this object, we have to write a name, like LED pin, equals, and now we're gonna use our board, dot, and we have this method get pin, to get the pin, first of all, we specify the pin type, whether it is a digital pin, or an analog pin, in this case we have a digital pin, using D, then we add colon, and the pin number, like 13, finally we have to add the pin mode, in this case we can use I for input, O for output, as well as B, let me give you a few seconds to guess, P stands for PWM, so that we can control the brightness of the LED, so the lines of code that you write on top, is like the setup function, we use it to set up some variables, so what about the loop function, that is called over and over again, we can write while, then I will add true, so it will be called over and over again, if you are coming from other programming languages, we use curly braces, but that's not right in Python, we add a colon, then we hit enter, and all of the lines of code that we write under here will be called over and over again, for example we can turn our LED on and off, using LED pin dot, and the method is called write, to write a value, which is between 0 and 1, 1 is full brightness, we can set it to 0.5, which is 50%, and let's stick with these lines of code and run our file using the run button. If you get this error, don't worry, because it's related to the Python version that we are using, which is 3.11. To fix it, you have two options. You could install older versions like 3.10 or 3.7. And the second solution is to go to this link and change this line of code to this one using Ctrl V. You will find it under the video description. Now we can give it another try. The pin number 13 does not have PWM capabilities, we can use it as an output pin, and pass in 1 to turn it on, and 0 to turn it off, and yep, it is working, the LED is on, let's try to create a blink sketch to turn the LED on and off, to do that, we have to use the delay method, that will wait for a few microseconds, actually we don't have a delay method, we have to use another one that is related to Python, and it is under a library or a package, we can import it using import, it is called time, make sure to write it, so this is a built-in library, you don't have to install it, then to wait for a second, we can use time, which is the name of the library, or the package, dot, and we have sleep, that takes in the number of seconds, I'm gonna wait for one second, then we're gonna turn it off, using LED pen dot write zero, not one, and we wait for one second again, we use this button to stop the code, and let's run it, so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video, I hope you like it, if you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below, in the next videos we are going to create more projects using python, and I will see you in the next one.